stop it. Hey, 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 guys. Hey, we, we they interrupted our song. Sorry uh, for the delay, guys. Yeah, Thank we you here. For we in. late. We, but but we back. 10. You know what it is. It's 10, 10. Every Friday 10, night, 10. 10 p.m., Rent 10 10. We here. Y'all know what to do. This is Scheme Team. Episode 10. Yeah. Y'all know me who I am. It's your host, main manifest. To my right, I have. You have the euphoric endorphin releaser, Pookie Long John. To my left, I have. Hey, it's your girl, Rhea. And to her left, we have. What's up? It's Tiffany Monique. And we are the scheme team. We in the building. We raise our glasses. Yes. This is a commemorative episode. Yes. And we here. This is the summer set off, y'all. First day of summer. Happy first day of summer, everybody. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know, we love the summer. Amen. Everybody yes. looking so lovely in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Give yourself a hand. Everybody yes. looks so yes. lovely. Yes. Yes. Randy you. Watson. Yeah. Everybody good? Everybody have a good week? We had a, yes, had a good Yes, this week was really good. It was really? crazy. My week was crazy. How was yours? It was great. It was good. Uh, what do you do? Kind of, kind of busy, but you know. We here, you know, first day of summer. It's the summer set all. We set it off for the summer. Yes, yeah, I know we yes. got to do it all, you know, right. Get it right out here. Let's go right into it. We got so much to discuss. Y'all know how we do. These are the ones. Who's, what up, these? Uh, hey, we start with our sports. Yeah. Anthony Davis, my Lakers. I came <laughs> on out there. I was trying to hold it in. I told y'all. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's excited. Hey, it's okay. like okay. a dream. <laughs> Oh, I'm not, holding you close and keeping Lakers. you warm. Now the Lakers fans uh, really? could have something really? to be proud of. This is anxious forever, my lady. Come on, yeah. See, forever. they wasn't singing a while ago. The Lakers wasn't singing a while ago, though. Okay, first of all, sing all the parts. I have all four of them, right? Let's go. Y'all knew, let's go. What up, L.A.? Let's go, LeBron. They, ooh, skip, oh, still ain't going to do skip, nothing. Hey, and they mad. They know. Still ain't going to do nothing. You crazy. <laughs> well, if they don't get along, then how Man, can they please. do it? And we got more help coming. Help is on the way. The help is they on the some. way. Yo. <laughs> oh, shot. See, I got, I got a shot. I got my shot. You listen, got super excited. He got, listen, high. he got so, so high. I, what I, he I had? forgot to wear my Lakers jersey. Y'all lovely. Y'all lovely. Listen. Just give the NBA. Ch- what? He got a what? Nick Van Axel what? dirty as hell <laughs> give, jersey. Give, right. Give what happened in New York? What give the NBA Van Axel. What's up, Buffalo? I'm, listen. Well, first of all, y'all want to be technical. Our team was the Braves, who actually turned into the Clippers. Know your history. Um, so I okay. do have a right okay. to root for LA if you want okay. to. Okay, okay. But I am from Checkmate. New York, never been a fan of the Knicks. Let's go. Um, I'm actually <laughs> closer to Toronto. But we'll say this. Um, yes, the Lakers, man, we went through turmoil. They did magic wrong. Now we're about to be vindicated because real on her lip reading game. You look <laughs> Stop me! We about to be vindicated. Tell us vindicated. Why are we vindicated? Talk. Talk. I'm listening. Oh, man. I'm let's, not. Dis- they, let's discuss this. Let's, let's discuss this. Let's discuss, this. Discuss, this. Discuss, discuss this. Discuss so this. what's happening? So look, because LeBron had been in the finals ten years ago, a lot of people were hating. We got a lot of LeBron haters, and I'm not one of these LeBron fans. Like wherever LeBron goes, I'm jumping on that team. Right. I'm not one of those. But he's on the Lakers. You got a roof for him, right? So he wearing the purple and gold. They didn't give my man no help. They literally have been jumping him the last few years, like on court jumping him. Hoopers know what I'm talking about. Four on five. Slapping him. You go to state, got four, five, six all stars. It's just him by himself. It's so big and monumental now that he has help, right? That he has AD. So now it's going to be even, you know, yeah. even kill. Let's go. So he can do a lot more. Okay. He can do a lot more. Next year. I mean, Medication. listen. Next year, he's going to be on the path. Hopefully. Amen. I would it. Listen, I, I like LeBron too. I got I so am, I got so am, I'm sorry. Shout out to everybody watching us on Spotify or watching us. <laughs> watching us on Listen, YouTube. Uh-huh. Listening to us on Spotify. Thank Help me, Skin Queens. Listening to us on iHeart on all the platforms. Y'all see us right here in this corner, right? We boop, appreciate boop, you. Boop, boop. Yeah, right, right there. Scheme yes. podcast on YouTube, Scheme right underscore here. podcast Scheme. on iTunes. Podcast. Listen, this is what I want y'all to do. Right y'all watching on there. Facebook Live right now. Everybody y'all watching on your laptop and your phone, go to YouTube and hit that subscribe button. That's right. Y'all rocking with us, man. We, you know, give me y'all good content. Go ahead. Tell us what you think about our topics. Boom. Boom. That's that's the sign when you press the button. Boom. Hit the subscribe. You get the notifications. So when it drop in your inbox, you know, you might be getting ready for the club right now. Some of y'all <laughs> like to tell us why you get ready it for is the club. Why you put your black socks on. As you right. get your freaking you dress to us, listen, listen to us. us on the way to the club. Tell us you right. look to good, the club, boo. To the gym. Yeah. Some of y'all work out the next day, work yeah. the alcohol out from the club. Y'all can listen to the gym. We That's see y'all right. too. Sweating out games. on the treadmill. Listen we to us. We see you. But yeah, let's yeah. So so we're going to get our house in order. But no, back to our sports. Check it out. The 
Flip side is uh, my man Lonzo Ball. Oh, he got traded, y'all. To New Orleans. Yeah, his father, LeVar Ball. He sad his because he wanted to see his dream, right, James? His yeah. brothers. He wanted to see all three of them hoop together for the Lakers. Did they messing it? up the balls, man. Oh. They 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 they, they, the they took his father, <laughs> split it in, and they 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 took his uh, the son, got him in New Orleans. They they messing it's with the balls over. for real. They messing with the balls. Messing with the balls. And then y'all see uh, y'all see. Uh, New Orleans also drafted Zion. Yeah, I saw that. You know Zion, right? Zion and yeah. Zoe. Yeah, Your first show, right? <laughs> <laughs> so no, Zion. So New Orleans is gonna have a nice young squad, nice mm-hmm. young squad, and they getting it together. Y'all got a favorite NBA team, ladies? In every team, every sport I go for the home team. I'm from DC. So oh, okay. I just yeah. Even if they owe in seventy nine. You know, don't do that. I accept none. No, it's okay. I mean, it's true. I accept two of my teams. <laughs> yeah, I accept two of my teams. <laughs> That's good. But you I, gotta, that's how you're supposed to be. I am loyal. Really? I am loyal. So I ride with my teams: the Wizards, the Capitals, right. the Nationals, the Redskins. Like, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Washington. You said DC, you didn't want like the Redskins that one time. Huh? Say what now? What? You said you wasn't a Redskins fan. I've time. never said that. Okay. Oh. Never said that. Oh. You can go back. What I've you never think said about I was. Uh, I said I accept them for who they are, which is how I deal with people in life in every situation. True. I accept them for who they are, but True. I am a skin. I'm any Washington team. I'm from D.C. I rock with the D.C. She ride team. with them. D's, we up okay. on the site, right? All right. All right, Tiff, Tiff, you uh, you a, you a Knicks fan? Um, so like I told y'all before, when it comes to basketball, <sighs> I'm basketball. more of a player. <sighs> However, if it's us against somebody else, who's and us? Knicks, the 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 Nets. If if it's us against somebody else, I'm gonna go with the home team. Mm-hmm. But my player just retired, so I don't even know who's who. your player. Dwayne Wade. I knew she was going to say that. Y'all Wade. heard me say that before. She did say she that. She said that before. Mm-hmm. Dwayne, Dwayne Wade, Wade is my dude. And I love, I love, I love me some LBJ too. I like, I like LeBron. You like regular Wade or Braids Wade? D-Wade with the braids. I'm back in the day with D-Wade with the braids. <laughs> <laughs> you just said it was everything. Back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> that's easy. That's easy. That's easy. That's easy. Listen, we go no, way back. Like, that's okay. Oh, come on, man. Right, D-Wade right, with the Wade. He was getting buttons. In, exactly, exactly, exactly. I was, I was rocking with him then. Okay. Mm. When he was bald headed, right? You was with him when he was bald headed. Let me tell you something. So yeah, I'm not. You know, when it comes to basketball, but as far as a home team with uh, football and baseball, uh huh. Giants, Yankees. Giants, Yankees. Okay. Giants, Yankees. Oh, I'm a Yankees fan too. So Giants, you know. Yankees all day. My teams, you know, they they kind of they're different, but yeah, Yankees. Y'all already know what the football is. Don't even, don't even get started. They know the football, what we do. No Buffalo um, Bills. Buffalo Bills. This is a home team. Who's it? Tampa, Tampa Bay. Shout out to the Bucks. We come to get Buffalo this year. Bills. What you think about uh, the the ball father, though, with the Molly, Molly girl? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, I saw it. Mike. Well, that's what to do about Being nothing. harassed. Did y'all see that? Talking about what happened? So, okay, real quick. Uh, uh, LeVar Ball was on um, ESPN. His, his was crazy. They always bring him on here because he's controversial. Mm-hmm. He get rated, so they know. So Molly, I like Crum, to hear him. yeah, Molly Crum, uh w- wanted to switch topics. She's like, "Oh, let me switch gears real quick." Um, and Levar chimed in. He said, "You can switch gears anytime with me, Molly." Ooh. That's yeah. all it was. Oh, <laughs> she said, like, "Oh, focus there." Fo-. She did. Tiff did she too. Made just it. Yeah, she, yeah, <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she, she her mind's in there. See, we know. Yeah, so I we know. Mean, we it ain't go. seem that Let's bad. Let's discuss though. this, Tiff. What? Let's discuss this. Where, where was your mind just with that statement? <laughs> I mean, it was. I mean, we're having a professional moment right now, and you are becoming unprofessional. You being a little flirty. Who? No, I'm I asking think you a question. That's normal. That's conversation. Oh, you talking about we 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 ain't talking about. So you not offended? I thought she was talking about me right now. See? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I forgot me too. I'm like, not about you. She's gonna get all this. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's summer set off. Don't set it off on me. Don't be playing ball, but I'm not talking That's about disgusting. you, homie. <laughs> In that situation, I think that he was just being flirty. Yeah, I think he was just flirty. No, we cut it off. But, so um, but she has the right to be like, okay, let's keep it professional, sir. Let's bring so it right back. So here's the thing. She said, let's switch gears. He said, switch gears. First of all, they're both married. Her husband works at ESPN. He what loves that his wife. Switch gears. What yeah, that yeah. Mean? Come on, what does you that talk. Mean? I mean, you talk. I well, talk. she said That's she was I'm she thinking. was talking about switching subjects, and, that, and he said, "Here's the thing." He said exactly what she said. So 
how can you make if it's if it's not sexual when she said it to him? It's it doesn't not sexual mean that it's sexual back. if you're being no. flirty. Flirting, it, it wasn't flirty. flirty. I mean, but sometimes listen, even yeah, married yeah, people yeah. flirt. Yeah. Okay, they married they people flirt. It's not. I a big never deal. get no boner off I that. Agree with that. Let's it's switch not that gears. Big of a deal. It's not that big of a <laughs> deal, <laughs> especially if everybody knows. They probably know each other. Okay, okay, okay. That's how they're trying to say. You didn't say that. No, yes, it's not like they probably all know each other. They're all friends and family. They're probably flirty and friendly and you know familiar. So here's what the here's the thing was. I think it's scary to an environment where you can't just have like free conversation. Right, 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 you, you, you can just right. Right. We, right. Talk, yeah, we, can, we can talk right here. We can yeah. sit here and do all that. Yeah, that's why y'all watch skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the loops. All the loops. All the loops. And so look. <laughs> no, y'all listen to Scheme Podcast on Spotify. Yes, yes. Check it out. Yeah. Real quick, what, yeah. what's 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 interesting is like again, you had Jamil Hill. Yeah, all these people trying to like clout chase and trying. Oh, uh, and we can't oh, yes. turn everything into, into a thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything is not a thing, and that's what I'm saying. This man is a good father, respectable yeah. business owner. Love his wife. He got yeah. a documentary like, to show with his wife. Y'all know he want to try and stop playing. And like you know, so it's like get my, over yourself. I feel like she was trying to be like, exactly. oh, he's oh. Like, uh, it wasn't like that. I don't, well, I think my challenge in situations like this, especially in this current climate that we have, where you have people, like, it's like everything becomes a, oh, he made me uncomfortable, or it's this. Right. When you have situations where a, a simple discord gets turned into something way more than it is, it it um, it um dilutes the, the actual conversation. That's what I be saying. People who, saying. who Actually, are, you know, I could see if he had said something sexual or yeah. if he had insulted her or, has, or something like that, then okay, it's a different conversation. But to just be flirty in conversation, we really have to think about where is our line for when we're going to turn up because something is actually They're trying wrong. To, or when we just gonna go crazy? They're for trying everything. to right. They're trying to basically limit any guy who's all the way masculine or male or a dominant type male. They want to like undermine him Get or kind of cut him right, cut him down. And that's what's unfortunate. Like you can't even say regular stuff. My you know boys, I mean? my boys. You yeah. can't tell he's me nothing about my male, boys, right? And he's like that. So anything <laughs> they can use to try to turn it controversial, oh. it's unfortunate. And that's really. I'm glad you just said that because that's what I've been. Try see this see see you gotta take your time, y'all massage. No, this what, we, no, wait, 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 this is no, what I've been no, trying no. to say three weeks. He go, no, no, no. He got real no no no. No, this is what I've been saying when I when I say go, not y'all. to discredit the whole Me Too movement, but some of that discredits like what we're doing right now. Like they are jumping on the Me Too feminists and the SJW social justice warriors, all of them come out with this. And that's what we're saying, like, not all of it, but some of that Me Too shit is just people clout chasing. We talking about that? Come on, man. It's Get a very small portion of people that are clout chasing with the I Me Too agree. movement. I'm I don't sorry. know. But it also, and, and listen, I understand, like, with regular banter, you know, it's normal. We're kind of used to that. But some people are not used to that, okay? And you have to respect people's boundaries, period. Mm-hmm. You can't just well, don't say be on that. TV. You can't, you, you can't just say that, oh, because, you know, this is what we normally do and it's yeah, but who made it normal? Who made it normal right. to be in the middle of a professional conversation? Who made it normal to be flirtatious? I'll tell like, you that's who not made it normal. Necessarily normal. The locker room, and that's why that's there's the a whole. Room, but I'm but that's, about that's why there's the a whole movement of keep women out of sports. A professional, she should know how to skip you. over that well, though. No, no, like, no, 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 no. I feel like this is why people, some people, a lot of people say, I'm not totally on this thing as, as some might think I am, but I'm not all for keep women out of sports, but this is why a lot of guys say like, yo, don't even have women commentators, don't have women in that's sports. Crazy. That's crazy, so that's But here, but here's why, let me here. tell you why, this is that's why. That's so bad, I'm coming looking to real. at it from your perspective. No, this is, this is why they say that, they be, because you don't know what women sometimes being sensitive of things like that, like again, LeVar Bar, I, I honestly, but he didn't mean anything sexual, he was just boom, trying to make yeah. a joke. Now you take it, <laughs> you, yeah. see if you're not, if you're not ready and understand that, like, it's stuff 20, 10 times right. worth on he the sidelines. You know, so you have all these sideline reporters. And that, and if you're not ready to hear that, don't be in that environment. So don't, if you're going to come into the environment, understand the, 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 the confines, understand the, you know what goes on here. Don't try to come in here and cater it towards you. I That's agree. all we're saying. You, I agree. Okay. Yeah. I, I understand that perspective. However, you, you are a professional ball player. You are going to be interviewed by women, and so just the same that way that a woman has to come into your environment, understand that the conversation and the and the banter is going to be a little bit different than what she is used to. You have to respect the fact that this is a woman. They did the same thing. They did the same thing with you, Cam Newton. And you have to be respectful of the ladies' boundaries. Period. It's just Get like on any your other knees. professional work yeah. environment. You can't just go into work. You know, I work with predominantly men. Cam, okay? Cam, hold on, real quick. Cam Newton was talking about um, uh, when the 
a uh, female interview. This was last year. The female reporter interviewed him, and she asked him about a route. And he's like, <laughs> he just laughed. Yeah. Remember, he's like, it's funny because you asked me about routes. That usually doesn't happen. He ain't mean nothing about it. And they try, oh, he's sexist. He's like, man, she don't so, know about like, routes. Cut it okay. out. Like, all that. Because, you know, right. You asked okay. me a question that was sent in for Damn, you. Okay. And that's where we go. But, real, you, you want, uh, we, we, we got more to talk about. We just got to get back to NBA free agency. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about the free agency because it was free a trade, agency. right? Okay. Other than, uh, other than, um, uh, AD, there was another trade. Mike Conley. They say James looked oh. like Mike Conley. Uh, Mike Conley, yeah. y'all. Mike Conley yeah, Jr. Y'all got it yesterday. I know. I got I it. Yo, before the dude said it, he yo. said, yo, anybody ever tell you? I said, Mike Conley. Yo. He's like, yeah. I'm not... One time we was watching, and my daughter shot to Jay. Hey, baby. Jay, Jay was like, he, he looks like Uncle James. Mike Conley Jr. They, they did say it, so that's his doppelganger. Yeah. He got traded to Utah Jazz. It's other trades. Um, they really talk squad, about. Though, they're talking like about that. Kevin Durant. Where y'all think K, KD gonna go? Anywhere. No, they say they say he can <laughs> stay with Golden State and get fifty million. They Golden State the still want him though. They going yeah. they they trying to bring up back all the all the broken ankle players. Everybody who broke their ankle, they they paying for. I'm be huddling up over there. I know. Who was in my cup? Oh my goodness. If you broke your ankle, you get a contract. <laughs> but back to let me ask y'all this. Back to the uh, Levar Ball real quick. Not just the basketball, Lonzo Kill ball, actually. Focus on Lonzo. Do y'all think it's going to like be better for Lonzo because he kind of going to get away from his father and get out of his shadow? Like being in New Orleans, playing in New Orleans, if he stays there. Who said, he gonna leave? Who for, said I know. my boy going to leave well, uh, see, me? No, <laughs> nah. LeVar Ball has to stay in L.A. You know, he got his family, he got his business, and then he got his other two sons hooping out there. Yeah, yeah. So now I there. think, my, me personally, Lonzo being in New Orleans, he get away to get from mm-hmm. un- underneath his dad, like basically grow up and be a man a little bit. You know what I mean? Them boys been caught, not, I ain't gonna say coddled, but you know, like man. Under the shadow yeah, of the father. Yeah, the whole time. And that's a good thing. You know, right. I ain't saying, I was shout say out to LeVar Ball, big baller brand, you know, real talk. Yeah, he but I think Lonzo will get a chance to spread his wings, be on his own. It's almost like going off to college. He only did one year of college, UCLA, right? right. Oh, In wow. LA, Chino Hills, that's not too far. So, and I, he think, had it good. I think it's going to be a good thing for us. What y'all think about that? I agree. I, um, kind of to establish himself in this, uh, a certain level of independence, but the type of father he has, he's always going to have that support system. It doesn't really matter where he goes, but I think the distance might actually be a good Come right with my boy. It ain't nothing. Right, right. So, I don't know. It's cool. Mm-hmm. We spent a lot of time on our sports. Let's move we right did. on to knowledge. <laughs> Going into knowledge, give them that knowledge, Deej. No about uh, that. Uh, update from last week, y'all, on the DR situation. Oh, my. Man, I, I, they I, said they got some um, findings that they're thinking. Just go to Haiti. First of all, it's another, it was another death, man. And rest in peace and condolences to the family, man. It's, yes. That's, that's yeah. it's unfortunate. But they're saying now they think it was on the, um, the liquor. Mm-hmm. That is man-made liquor. And you know what's crazy? Because somebody told me that, again, I had been in the DR. Somebody said, like, yo, you got to be careful. What they be doing is, again, it's a third third world country poor. They keep the uh, Tanqueray bottle, and then they hit you with, you know, Ho- Jose's no. gin that he made out of a bathtub. Uh, no, not, not, not uh, and watch it. Jose. Yeah, Ho- soaking Sanchez. feet, soaking Jose. feet flavor. He's good for you. Like, that's what I'm saying. BLJ, he's good for you. He's good so for he, you. So he hitting you with the. Oh and then, then you go goodness. to the bar. Let me get another one. You just drink it. Hey, and know that, 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 bacteria, and it's like, you know, uh, so you think you have a hangover because you drank too much, That's but you so got nice. all type of... Foot fungus in your throat. It's now, amazing to me that there hasn't been a bigger response um, like from the U.S. piece because typically if you have something that's taking out, like literally killing previously healthy people that quickly then you have to do something about it and we have lots of folks going to the dominican republic and coming back and like who knows if this thing is contagious if they can right and i think that the response has just been ridiculous like i don't even understand how it's been weeks this is the ninth or tenth person that's come forward this week but we haven't had any other issues about it no travel advisories issued or anything coming really sick yeah yeah and And even folks who didn't die have gotten sick it's ridiculous yeah. Yeah. yeah you're trying to scare us and they said, y'all, they said, um, what's crazy is, uh, hold on, I just forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> the DR. Oh, DR. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. One person was pa- passed away. Listen, uh, one family, one of the family, I think it was the, uh, the Caucasian lady who was trying to get her, her body, her family was trying to get her body sent back. They said the resort was stressing her to have a... Um, Funeral? No, 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 no. Uh, oh, um, cremation. Cremation. Oh. cremation. Not they didn't want to send the body back. That so that's they said third ward, mm-hmm. like they stealing our organs and all that. Again, that black market stealing organs and all that, that shit is real. So, you know, if they over there and people pass out and 
you know, boom, they take your organs. Then you try to get the body back. They like cremate it, cremate it, because they don't want you to do the autopsy when you come back. Like, That's true. but so oh in that same vein, because or they could be trying to hide the fact that this is in fact an infectious disease. There was a couple right. that went to Fiji. White couple went to Fiji. I think this might have been like last year, and had something similar where they died in Fiji. They were gone for like a week. They um and, and this they didn't weren't allowed to bring their bodies back until they finished the autopsy and then they were like if it turns out that this is an infection you have to cremate the bodies there right. you couldn't bring them back here for just the danger that you're going to bring them back the right space, yeah. and so that's why I don't understand and this is one couple in Fiji why do we have nine people in Dominican Republic which is a lot closer to us and we have a lot more tourism back and forth and we're not talking a little bit more about what it is that's killing these people and what could potentially happen if this continues to go on it could be something here already this going around and we don't even know it right and i like the response has just been crazy in I my agree, personal yeah. opinion yeah people ain't never uh, they ain't never stopped going to the dominican republic no matter what happens they I, gonna keep going i think i know some people say they still well going. you know they said, it's free right. sex all the time right like in the beautiful I, women i don't know hey. if it's free oh it's not you I gotta just, pay for it i'm sorry i have heard i heard the weather it's free if you know. i heard it's because the weather nice you listen the to the skin podcast it's a tropical island you can buy you can buy some good vagina Oh, I don't know. Good I heard, vagina. I don't know. Well, I, or mediocre. I, I haven't never had heard, any of I've never so heard that know. one, Rhea. Rhea and her bad vagina. Rhea, I never Rhea. heard that one. Rhea and her bad I never you heard that. You can buy Dominican vaginas, whether they're I good never. or vaginas. Vaginas. I don't know. You can yeah, buy yeah. some vaginas. Yeah, sell vaginas. Get your vaginas, yeah. Vaginas. Two for three sale Get going on. Vaginas, <laughs> what y'all buy? We all go on vacation, ladies. Let's discuss this. Let's discuss this. Oh, no, I already said let's discuss it. Let's discuss it. Yeah, let's talk. Yeah, do y'all buy P&I? No. 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 Who has to buy a penis? <laughs> right. <laughs> they laugh. Do we have to buy it? <laughs> 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 Seriously? Please, child, no. Right. <laughs> 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 Please, child, no. Right. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. Keep hitting the story, Andrew. Keep hitting the story. Right, you, you want that a street Listen, offering. So, so what do y'all buy? What do y'all buy when y'all go on vacation? Food. Food, maybe. Some souvenirs. We buy buy shopping. We know the we know, I buy, I buy we know the other the locals and other cats. We buy, buy drink. memories. Yeah, I'm buying drinks. I've, I mean, I have I purchased a drink. drink on vacation before, but yeah, I get. I think I'm. A, I think we need to go on vacation and yeah, just like man. follow them, y'all. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Einstein witness. Yo, I'm going to right. just follow my IG. I'll oh, let oh, y'all know. No, no, we ain't following no IG. You only right. put on what you want to. That is true. We yeah. See, look. Listen, we want to see the penis. Okay, they off. You walk yeah, down the street. Penis, penis is you, not you hard. You want a massage? Yes, it is. You want a penis? <laughs> Not if you make it, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's wait. not hard oh, to get. It's so much it's, to get. It's, it's definitely not yeah, hard not to get, difficult. especially not on vacation. They know that that's what a lot of people go for. They go for. Is that what you do when you? We ask what you do when you go on vacation. Tiff. I just told you I, I buy fun. food. Now, y'all don't. Y'all don't need to know what I do. All you I do, have a great all you do is eat food the whole time. I, I love. I Everybody eat follow Rhea's story tomorrow. Food. Let's see what she talking about. Yes, I'm gonna be at great restaurants eating lots of yummy food. I always yummy food and meeting new people. You know, yes, lay out, get a tan. When y'all, ladies, ladies, I do go to the beach. When y'all go out, do y'all do y'all eat? If the food is real good, do you eat the whole plate or you leave a little to be a lady? Oh, I, I have no problem eating <laughs> I eat on my whole plate. Okay. <laughs> you lick the plate too? I don't no. lick the plate. That's just go. extra. That's, right. That's extra. But I eat all my food. I don't need to be cute for nobody. Right. Listen, Listen you I meet me. I'm paying my money. Yes, I'm gonna eat the whole plate and I'm gonna be happy with it. Exactly. I remember one time I went on a date with this guy and I ordered a plate of ribs. <laughs> Yo, I went to work on Damn. those ribs. I did not care. The whole table was like, ribs, ribs. I did. Damn. I was oh. whole rack. Racks on racks. She got the Flintstone joint. The Flint, you the joint they sit on the side of the car. If you have if you date me, you need to know who I am as a person. Right. Like you Straight just need to know. Here. I'm too old to be playing. Like I'm a, and I <laughs> said, ain't, ain't give him one, sauce James. See, ain't, ain't give him one. I sauce offer, right here. I, him I want my baby back, baby sauce. back, baby back, baby sauce back. Sauce right I here. From the job, I was like, yo, you want one? Cause I'm about to go to work. From the and drip. He was like, nah, I'm good. I'm like, thank you. He thought you was playing. <laughs> no, I was dead serious. <laughs> he learned. He learned that night. He didn't get a one. Who's ordering salad? Like, don't nobody want that. She got that rib sauce. Let's discuss this. I, you know, I, I don't, I don't mind. You know. I've 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 uh, taken a few ladies out and they get a couple salads. The salad the salad. I'm gonna tell you. I mean, let me tell you the conscience of the salad. Of the salad ordering chicks. They 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 don't. They didn't even know you was coming to get food. First of all, um, it's a lot of reasons a chick order salad. What's the 
reasons. Um, they might want to get straight to the D. I don't want to eat. I want to get right to it. You know, that's why. No appetizers. Yeah, yeah, no food. You gotta eat I want to stay late. I know you're going to be in these ribs later, so let me not have too much here and be full. Let me keep it light. Before, Lay me on that ledge, bed. Ruffledge, ruffledge, so that, really? What kind of so, young ladies are you dealing with, sir? <laughs> so that, I am full belly. Really? Okay, okay so, so exercise that I'm about to put in. Well, I'm going okay. to well, fill up your belly. Realistically speaking, hey. the majority of guys I'm gonna fill up your belly. touching your ribs. She's going to be full. Just statistically speaking. But it's from something that's not on the menu. I got a question. Statistically speaking, Lots of guys. The majority of guys aren't gonna be touching your ribs. They just gonna be. It's just gonna be vagina. Well, I can only speak for myself. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm not talking about you. I can I'm only speak for myself. Statistically, the majority of guys, the average penis size is about four and a half, five inches. That's that right. ain't no ribs. <laughs> <laughs> ribs they are fucking with little Dick Larry. Listen, right. Listen. Right. Dick Larry. we talked about this. Y'all okay. That's the average. Of that's the average size of okay, the hold penis. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all, we are off there. We are not gonna set off the summer like this. First he of all, you did not have to tell. On that man, like <laughs> first that. of all, and that's why we're on vacation. Anyway, we know what we're trying to do. <laughs> what we are trying to do <laughs> to, go, <laughs> to get away from Larry. What we're trying to do <laughs> is understand. Oh, who got the phone on? They called in the scheme so hotline. Who listen, they called in. They said, "Listen, we can, hello, scheme. We ain't taking calls. Hello, scheme. We have a call in a minute. This, this, this ain't put the call on. Let's turn the line on." on. Summer, Listen, summer, where did you get? Where you been? You been throwing a lot of suspect averages and statistics. <laughs> no, if you if you four, Google it, if you have yeah, four and a half. Well, see, I've never Googled that. I have no desire so to. Mind you, that's that's average. That's average size for men in the United States, and that's not it's not filthy health for color Gender. or or <laughs> I mean, any or cultural. Fellas, you're not letting him get this up. I don't know. I don't. Okay, so look, let me. He was German. Average penis size. So back to what I was saying. The reason. The reason why. Um, That's just not smart. I would just say, okay, so you said that young ladies, allegedly. Some of them. Wait, wait, okay, okay. Some of the young ladies, they, they get salad because they want to get straight to the D. Do you understand that salad is roughage? No, I said that. No, That's I said, like, they don't want so me. it helps clear you out. Why would you want to eat salad? Go on it's and get the like, ribs, boo. It's just like eating tacos. Because they know they're going to get baked like potato. Tiffany. You and some asparagus. Go and have sex. But because, that's water, though. Salad? Because they, water. I'm going to tell you why. Let me answer. Let me answer. You because, have listen, all the let me tell you why. Because oh. they know, that's a, usually hours later, that's they know true. that they're going to get their meat. Mm -hmm. When you have a fast Let, metabolism. They're going to get their meat later. That's a dumb so, reason to eat salad. And, that's and why reason. be bloated? That's, that sounds no, like a man I'm you, reason. Why Who be bloated? Who told you this? I'm taking you the Ben's Chili Bowls. Who told you this? You about to get chili. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to get the Who chili dogs. Told you this? First of all, I'm taking you to Wendy's. Order the ribs. <laughs> oh you about to get that. You about to get that McDouble. Right. And if it's the first date, don't have sex with them anyway. So you about to get that double stack. Why eat the double stack and be all up here bloated? And you have your. Don't order no goddamn salad. You have your three month belly out. Yeah. And I, you know what I mean? Look, I work I love three month my belly. three month belly. I like a three month belly. I like a to belly love hole. My fupa. If you want like this, it. you gotta love my fupa. All of it. All of it, okay? okay. Do y'all like y'all belly holes lick? Why? 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 Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Let's ask the question. Do y'all answer that question? What is the question? Do y'all like y'all belly on? None of y'all goddamn business. Yes, she do. Yes, she does. Let's go. Rhea. La, la, la. I like being licked, generally speaking. La, 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 la. I like how you said that, though. Okay, okay, girl. Keep it on That is all right. We are gaining viewers by the thousands. Shout out to Scheme Team friends, Scheme Team Japan, yeah. Konnichiwa, Scheme that's Team. My, that's my take for today. She's out of order. Scheme Team uh, Colombia, <laughs> uh, Scheme Team Istanbul, France. Scheme yeah, Team. Just, yeah, we got, we got like, right, listen. France. We see y'all, man. Listen. Thank y'all for watching us. We, Thank we, you. We, we like Mexico. We appreciate, we appreciate you so much. They kind of Smart. Here. <laughs> You loyal. Yeah. <laughs> they are loyal. They are upset. See, Smart. they got the scheme team, team. This is what happens when they... The scheme team. The scheme team. Oh, it's, okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Forgive me. I'm sleeping. Check it out. We are entertainment. These already put it up. Um...
It's a lot going on in entertainment. I mean, mm-hmm. we got the BET Awards coming up. We got the BET. Y'all, oh, yeah. is anybody still watching? Are they, are they no. checking yeah. for the BET yeah. Awards? Yes. No. Yes. No. I don't yeah. have cable. Like, no, let's talk about listen, it. Listen, I get confused. Why? 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 got like 15 different I, award shows. Which yeah. one is this? I don't is have it, cable. BET Awards. Because they have like the Soul Train, and then they have the hip. They used to have the They got the Hip Hop Awards, the R&B. They got This is the. I think this is the regular BET Awards, like the MTV Awards. Wait, wait. This is not the one where they have the ciphers, right? I want to start. I want to start with Pete. Go ahead, Pete. Okay. You, know, you said you're not checking for it. I'm not checking for it. I don't have cable, but I will YouTube the performances <laughs> after. Yes. You used to get mad at me because you like I want to watch the live one when I the when they were so. That's when everybody had cable, but you know, I didn't yeah, nobody watched. Oh, used to watch. Them. Yeah, because I used to let the curses come out on the first one, right? <laughs> right. Said, they right. They did. They yeah. did. Shut the fuck is up. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did. You gotta watch the live. I'm on motherfucking thank Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just cursed my ass <laughs> off. Thank you, Jesus, for this award. <laughs> uh, I mean, to, to, to talk about it, you, you are checking for it? You like BT? I'm not saying that I'm checking for it. I really don't watch. I don't clean watch. it up. Clean listen, it up. Listen, listen, no, for real, for real, for real. So, so for real, I don't watch the award shows anymore. I don't really watch them. However, I feel like people are watching the BET Awards more so now. Like, especially now that people are becoming more woke and more conscious. They're looking to see what's going to happen at the BET Awards and who's getting, who's getting their accolades and, you know, who's getting acknowledged for all of the work that they've done. I feel like people are really tuning in now. Mm-hmm. Um, more so than what they used to. I think that it's just, it's, now it's picking back up. People are becoming more pro-black. Amen. I could dig it. I could dig it, Rhea. Amen. So, like, I'll turn my TV on to the award show because I generally like to support black television, but I don't necessarily watch it. Um, I just catch the just to get the ratings on you. Yeah, the, I want them to get ratings. Cause like it. you know, I like to support my people, but I don't need. I don't know half of the rappers anymore. I don't understand what they're saying. It's <laughs> real. I mean, like I'm get, I'm older. You learning from it. I'm just like you know what? <laughs> I'll catch the highlights on YouTube. Right, the next day. The highlights. The BT right. highlights. The highlights. Catch the performance. But I'll, like went, but I'll turn my TV on, and so the ratings That's can hilarious. count. That's how you mm-hmm. skip to all the. Uh, yeah, I just see what I want. I can <laughs> right. pick and choose. I don't have to watch <laughs> yeah, all of the things. Right. Cause Sometimes it's just like crazy, but everything. I promise you, you turn on if you go on Twitter, uh-huh. you get a full rundown black of everything Twitter. that happened. You right? tune into Black Twitter, yeah, you and then get you the can have down. all the. Yeah, you get everything. I don't need yeah. to see. It. I can get the highlights and the funny commentary and never have to tune Tiff, in and black do it at Twitter? my leisure. What's Black, black Twitter? Twitter? Black Twitter is just not Twitter. Twitter. It's it all the Negroes Twitter? on Twitter. It's Twitter. not Twitter. Twitter. It's not, not Twitter. Twitter. Not Twitter. All the Negroes on Twitter. 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 It's black Twitter. Mm-hmm. Black Twitter. That's, that's yeah, Black Twitter. Twitter. It's all the Negroes on Twitter. All the Negroes. All the Negroes. All they, will the Negroes. It, they will read you your rights. On we gotta get a Twitter because I ain't got a Twitter yet. We gotta, we gotta get, get a Twitter. Scheme Twitter. Scheme Twitter. Scheme Twitter. Get I, us on Black Twitter, Twitter. Twitter. Scheme you gotta, Twitter. You get us oh, on no, Black I Twitter. Tweet. <laughs> I don't tweet either. I don't. I don't know. That's why we gonna leave that to PLJ. I tweet a lot. Oh damn! Look at see you said I got what I say. You see how that works? He just I made the right thing. I don't. I don't tweet. I don't tweet. I twat. (laughs) (laughs) Tweet a twat. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, let's move. Anyway, so whatever you tweet out, I will retweet whatever you put out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can do that. I can do that. I appreciate it. Make sure y'all check it out too. But I'll retweet. Yes, yes. I, can, yes. I will retweet every single day, and I won't retweet, people. but I'll retweet. <laughs> yeah, not not I will retweet too. That. We're not I don't doing want to talk What's about the next topic? Listen, listen, y'all. Check okay, this, out. this week, hold on. No, <laughs> we because we have to retweet. Retweet. Y'all talking about four inches penises, and we can't talk about retweet. We talking about facts. I will retweet your retweet. Oh, yeah. That's the truth. Talking about the retweet. Listen, you know what? Retweet. There's no such thing as a retweet. It is retweet. It is a button. We just made that up. That's a main as a screen podcast. Retweet. Hashtag. Y'all want the definition? Ask me the definition. What's the definition? Retwat. Yeah. Retwat. This is how I am in the spelling bee. I am not a retwat. Retwat. Can you give me <laughs> the language of origin? Retwat. I went to her house before. Okay. I had already hit it. So I went back for a retwat. Right, right, right. Retwat. 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 What are we going to do? <laughs> Look I, I, <laughs> I will retweet that. So I will retweet that. Moving on. Retweet, retweet. Retweet, so retweet. Rock with me. I went back for a retweet. Um, what are we going to do is, uh, what are we at, Y'all go in the comments and tell him how ridiculous he is. Please. 
Okay. The language of origin is Scheme Podcast. Y'all heard that here. Check it out. We on appearance. Uh, we gotta switch gears a little bit. Switch it up. Uh, wait. Appearance. I know how to show appearance. your thigh veins in them shorts, girl. We are uh, so turned up. If we talk about talk about something serious, we really gonna have to get. No, we not. No, we we gotta get our lives. <laughs> so look, we this is what we are gonna do. We gotta, okay. Can y'all thigh veins back? coming out in the summer. In there. Serious. They can't pull it. Serious. Serious. Real. You wanna go with your topic? Is that whatever you want to do? Hey, he. She, 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 oh, she said she can switch gears with you I anytime. See, I could. I was. See, I, we try to stay. I wanna. <laughs> Go to the topic. Let's talk about some real shit. No, I totally Switch can. Gears. I can be serious. Switch no, gears. So look, I want to talk about what we we because we've been we've been wanting to talk about this for a while. We're gonna touch on it. I know it's 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 uh it's kind of you know, but the Central Park Five. I want to talk about that and it's in a in a police brutality and all this stuff is going on. Mm-hmm. First of all, uh, shout out to Ava DuVernay for doing this documentary on it. If y'all haven't checked, you already know. I know a lot of people already been talking about it. Mm-hmm. We had it on the docket a couple couple weeks ago. Um, we just just didn't get a chance to talk about it. Um, it kind of hits home for us because, you know, we are from upstate New York, but we yeah. experienced a lot of the cops and all that prejudice and all that. So this is this is real. So um, when y'all saw that story, how did it how did it hit y'all? I just wanted to get y'all honest opinions and how did it how did it make y'all feel? Um, just seeing that, you know, these cats' lives was just taken away from them, and it was like, it was strategic, you know what I mean? Just, it was another story out of the many, man. So how how, how we deprived them. But you got mad about it. I know you was I, like, I didn't even watch it. I can't watch, watch it because I, I feel like it's going to just be, even though I know about it, I know where it's going to go, and I just don't want to, I don't, it's nothing good that I could, it's just going to enrage me. Yeah. So I'd rather not even view it. Yep. I know it's a lot of people like that, and 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 I heard I heard a saying. It was like it's sad that to us that's a that's a real horror movie. It's a horror story. That's a horror. We don't care about that blood and gore. So it's not like vampires. We watch that, and and it's a it's a grown a man who don't want to watch that. Not that he's afraid of it, but chooses not to watch it because we know that's going to rage us. We go on work the next day and then be on some. So, but they want to hear from the ladies. How did that make y'all feel? Like, yeah, this is. So um, I yeah, remember so if you from yeah yeah I'm from New York and I remember when um, they were when it came out that they were being exonerated I remember that and I remember feeling just um, disbelief I was much younger then I was just in a state of disbelief that they could spend so much of their lives in jail for for a crime that they didn't commit but when I watched um, when they see us. Um, it really just broke my heart. I mean, I literally ugly cried in several parts of um, the series because it was just so painful Mm -hmm. for me. You know, it's so painful for me because I was just imagining the pain that they went through, you know, and and the, the, the shock and the horror. Like, it's traumatizing. Like, what they went through was so traumatizing. It was so traumatic. And then to have to try to rebuild your life after the fact. I can't even imagine, like, like we saw when they see us, and it was just a few hours of footage. This was years that yeah. they spent in prison. Decades. Right. Year, can, th- th- <laughs> think about your worst year that you've right. gone through and how mm-hmm. long that shit felt. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine doing six to 12 years in prison? And the challenge, it wasn't just prison. After they came out... They yes. had to register they had to li- sex offenders. Right. Yes. And they had the the constant media coverage. It affected them. It affected their families. Anytime somebody heard one of these men's names, everything from this situation, their own family members. And then And so you they never got away from it. Yeah, and then on top of that, like they did when, you know, they were, you know, they did win a lawsuit, but it, it was years after they were exonerated. So you're still having to live your life every day, you know, going through the whole, you know, people not really believing that you're inner, innocent. You have mm-hmm. to deal with your job and not really having it like that because you had to register as a sex offender. You had to, you know, register as a felon, you know, or, you know, say that you are a felon on a job application. You're not really, you're not really able to escape it at all. You know, this- I feel like they are now, I feel like they are right now at this time with this whole, um, this, I mean, I know that they had, they had another documentary that came out years ago, which kind of helped exonerate them. Um, but this particular documentary, I feel like this is really telling a story in a different way. And it's, I feel like at this point, I feel like they're now be, it's, it feels like they're able to breathe now. 
Right. Their the truth is, 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 it life, is it life imitating art or is art imitating life? One of the cats was like, they can't even, like, their their spouse or their partner wanted them to go to um, therapy. And, and it was like, emotional they can't even, still, right? They can't even, they can't even go to therapy because it's like, yo. He's not You know what your it. life, it, 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 come on, man. That's just, and that's just unfortunate. But shout out to all those brothers. I want to big up. Um, They did get their selling, man. Right, so we man. toast to that. Like, I mean, not toast, but we raise our glasses. It's some right. form of justice, you know, right. that. It shows, yeah, I know. It shows, you know, we got, you know, y'all so sweet over there. He's trying to get I to you. See, see how I did right. that? Ow. I'll Look, take it. He'll take it. <laughs> um, but no, it's some form of just, and, and again, that's why it's so great to have content, to have uh, platforms, content, artists, and curators, and creators that speak to the real, right? Mm. So we give y'all entertainment, but we always speak to the real. But Ava you know Ray okay. speaks to the real. Real quick, I just want to say this. We have to keep making this content. We have to keep making these these stories and all. Like I said, because a lot of people didn't know, we're not aware of of this, right? So we have to have this content. We got to continue to stream it and support it. I think it was one of the most uh, it broke records as far as streaming Netflix, on Netflix. Yeah. yeah, shout out to that. That's what I'm saying. Like, so that shows that when you put the real out there, the real, you know, even in this world of fakeness and facade, the real is gonna always cut through. What was you gonna right. say, Tip though? I was just gonna say that the actors that played these roles, mm -hmm. when I say, amazing. when I say they killed it, I'm amazing. The gentleman who played Corey Wise was, oh my god, he gut wrenching. I it. mean, like I can't. That's I, the one with the high top. Corey yeah, Wise. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my he god, because his experience was very was different than the other ones. They all had. Horrible yeah, but he had to. He but he just like, rolled for his adult. man. He just he, rolled, he, he right. didn't even have to go. He's like, okay, he was I'll like, I'm there. looking out for his man. Yeah. He happened to be the oldest. The from the time he got arrested, he went straight to Rikers. He never got out on bail. So the two years until the trial, he was in Rikers. Damn. After the trial, when he got found guilty, mm. he's back in jail. We're talking about a 16 year old boy, and they targeted him, targeted him from the moment he came into that prison. You, there's no amount of money that can ever repay what he went through. And I think that the, 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 the only beauty in the story is the fact that it didn't destroy him. Yeah. Like the, the, the story, and Ava DuVernay does a, an amazing job of showing the resilience in spite of yeah. everything that happened to these these guys, these yeah, men that's now. Real, man. They were boys when it happened. In spite of everything, they maintained their innocence. They worked hard to find a life afterwards. And in spite of everything, I mean, and she she was kind in the in the portrayal of what happened to Corey Wise, but but the truth is this boy was getting beaten and raped at 16 years old in Rikers Island because he was went in there as an adult. And he spent years, he was the last person to get out of jail. Yeah, the that's, last that's of them all to get out of jail. So he endured that and he spent God knows how much time in isolation by himself because the prosecution had created a story and decided to put these boys in the story so they could get a conviction. That's all it was. It was, it was guilty until proven innocent. And even though the evidence didn't have anything to show that these boys did it, nothing in the story pointed to these boys, but they had to create a story. They and these boys take, yeah, they had to create a narrative. And it still happens. So that, that ties into, like, well, first of all, just also follow up the, uh, you know the lady who who was a what lead prosecutor? Mm -hmm. She lost her she lost her she should have. position, right? Yeah. What like, this no, year? She resigned. Well, she resigned, but she stepped yeah. Down. Mm -hmm. The one the one uh DA was it no it was a detective lead detective. Beat her ass. He, detective. he died of cancer, he right? Mm -hmm. He died yeah. of cancer. Yes, karma. Her ass. Karma. Well, he, he actually he actually to, you know he died a hero. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's not you know it's not like as if did he die a hero? How he died? Yeah, because they. I mean, they, he was a hero. I mean, he, he lived most of his life as a hero. He lived most of his life as a hero that he can, you know, God allegedly. Respect. He, but he ain't died when he it came out. He, he, he developed cancer from, you know, trying to save people, you know, from not, you know, 9 11. 9 11. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so he died well, a hero. We know the facts. We know what the facts are. But this is what I want to say. So, again, man, that story, and like you said, the resiliency, we. To, uh, of the guys to come out of it. That just shows our perseverance I was just as a people. So, I felt that like, just shows thank God, they were still alive to tell their story. As manhood. Mm -hmm. You know, let's go into manhood, these We right here. Uh, um, I, I like, I I think this ties into, you know, how they want us to just move past stuff. Uh, it's like, yo, you supposed to just, that's over with. We got these, uh, this reparations talk. This yeah. shit was such a fucking farce. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
I mean, I was watching that in front of my uh, white coworkers too. And he said, and, and I just had to just be quiet. What? I, <laughs> wow. You don't have to. I mean, they but, want, but no, they no, no, want you know, Okay, so let's talk. About, let, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Let's talk about this. Let's discuss this. Yes, yes. As a man, when shit like that be on, and I've been in a break room for yeah. real. When some real shit be on, yeah, on. they got this, and they everybody looking at you like. What's he going to say? Like, and guess what? And you hold the whole temperament of the break. Because look, y'all know me. Y'all see how I, I turn up. So they like, if Jay don't turn up, everybody with him. And I'm like, and I won't say nothing. Yeah, y'all wait, y'all wait to see what the fuck I'm going to say. Because I tell you what, it's like we can't be men, man. I don't think people understand that. Not We're going to always be men. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me put this in the right context. We can always be men. But people look at us to be fucking restrained. It's like we, as a black man, you're not supposed to show emotion. Black people. Yeah. You know I'm what sorry, I mean? But, yeah, but I'm okay. just saying, right. I feel you, but we talking about men right now. It's like they target us first. They want to take us out first, right? So this whole bullshit, Mitch McConnell, my, oh, this wasn't our people. Like, I'm going to be for real. Like, you know, this is a sports podcast. This is a variety podcast. We give you a lot. But we always talk the real, too. So we can't talk about the politics. Um. From a man's perspective, to hear that these guys trying to say, you know, we ain't have nothing to do with it. You know, you talk about reparations. The Jews got their reparations. Native Americans got their reservations. Their reparations. Everybody get this. Why when it comes to us talking Holocaust, about what we, people what we there, supposed to get there? Yeah, Israel. Like, we still pay Israel and Palestine. Absolutely. You can clap. You can turn up, bro. Clap for that. We can turn up. Listen, we talk for real here. Scheme podcast. Why when it come for us talking about what we supposed to get? It's supposed to be sweeping under the rug. Oh, you know this? When we talk about race, no. I got an answer for no. that. No, yeah. no, no, no. I mean, there is no answer, but I want to hear your perspective on it. But Yeah, I mean, my perspective is that because they owe too much. We built this land. We built everything here. I mean, mm-hmm. not everything, but you know what I mean? We built this land. so Both literally and figuratively. Right. Well, we, so, when America, so, we're in America, so, Bob. Yeah, so real quick, Tiff. But let what, me just how say can this. you put a dollar sign? First of all... <laughs> Like I said, we built the land, literally and figuratively. How can you put a dollar sign on that? You can't. You can't. The, the United States government does not have enough money. First of all, we trillions of dollars in debt. Right. They don't even have enough money. Yeah. To but America give to also us. became a superpower the way it did so quickly because, because of slave labor. Because of slavery. So literally, we do owe all of our history and our position. Now, granted, we're screwing it over now, but that's a separate conversation. We owe it all to the fact that slave leaders, Africans, were brought here and working for free. Like, that's what it is. And the interesting thing about it, like, black people are always told to get over it, even outside of the reparations conversation, just, oh, get over slavery. It happened so many years ago. You would never tell a Jewish person to get over the Holocaust. The Holocaust. You would never even tell a Native that American to, to get you, over the trail you, you of tears. Would never, that shit happened. Like you would never say that to uh, you would never. I think in Indians, get over Hiroshima. I think Indians are interesting because I don't think person. they get the, they're still extremely underrepresented. I think that's a little bit different. But like Jewish, they're 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 no, white no, here, people. But we paying them. We we, we paying Japan for that for that bomb. Like we 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 yeah, yeah. Took, yeah money but over we, there. But we we like but the way that black people are just expected to get over everything. The way that and we're still dealing with the effects of how we've been portrayed. Through the media, we're that propaganda, betrayed, we're yes. always aggressive. We're always, we don't feel pain. Like all these things, these stereotypes that have been placed on us for hundreds of years, we still can't get from under them. That's why the justice system looks like it does now. That's why, you know, we're still, it's 2019, and it's the first black person to do this or the first black person to do that. When we were in this country, literally building it up. And they know they, know they owe us. T- Pete, talk about it. Get yours off. I was just going to say, if you look black, you get attacked. If you got dreads and, and you look like Afrocentric, they going to be, especially in the workplace, they going to be like, oh, where is, what is, what's he doing? They going to really look at you and target Sometimes you. Sometimes they will, not all the time. A I, lot I of the time. I want to say one thing. You know, when I'm at work, <laughs> they already know. Like, do if, if, if I see, so I'm not the type of person that if I see something on television and we're talking and they're talking about reparations or they're talking about anything pertaining to anything that I feel politically aligned with or sensitive about, I'm not entertaining that conversation. Right. I've had people at work, so what do you think? Because particularly if you are a black person in the break room and you just, you know, the usually, break room. whatever, break room, or they want to look at they you. They look at you and they're like, well, <laughs> what do you have to say? I don't have a gun. Yo, and I, I remember I was in the break room one time. Yo, they used to try to. damn representative. Oh my goodness. They used to always try to leave it on Fox. I would fucking go and change the channel. We're not watching no fucking Fox News. 
Yes. Fuck that. Shit, Not why I'm microwaving you my feel popcorn. feel like the target. Fuck Fox News. For real. Yeah. You know what I mean? But Fox, if y'all want to give us a deal, listen, we've done. I'm just like, <laughs> let's no, discuss no, no, no. this. Let, 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 let's discuss it. <laughs> Check it out, though. But for real, listen, we have to understand, man. You know, again, all this shit is, is slanted. All this is biased. But we can talk through it. And that's why I want to just, I want to, I want to talk about, like, what we could do to move forward. Now we see how they're going to treat us. Now it's time for us to get back to highlight something we talked about in season one. It's time for us to move, move. We see what it is. Now it's like, what you gonna do? You adjust, you, you see what they can come with, now you make the adjustment. We got our own media platform here to talk about it. So we can get our stories out. Like, you don't need CNN. You can come to Scheme Podcast on iHeartRadio, Spotify, YouTube, Facebook Live. You can hear that real. Hey, you don't have to listen to Slanted, huh? Slave master gonna get you. Listen, I don't care. They, uh, we on that Nat Turner. Would you whatever you want to talk about? You know, slave master. We out here to talk about it. Right. You could come. You have outlets, and that's what I'm so thankful for the World Wide Web because you can see what you want, filter, and then come and, and disseminate. We disseminate truth through through these forums. So what I want to tell you guys is number one, you don't have to. Trust but verify. That was always a trust but verify. Do your research. Don't just take what somebody gives you. Don't take what we give you. Go ahead and look it up. You know what I mean? Get in the comments. If I say something wrong, I'll stand corrected. Um, you know, understand that. But I will say this. This conversation is not going away. Mm-hmm. Like, Mitch McConnell, you got the turkey neck bag under your neck, man. You look like you got the whole, I mean, the robin, 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 robin. How are you even speaking for people? Like, they feel comfortable with you. You got one person who can talk about grabbing them by the pussies, but when we want to talk about getting ours, you know, it's a whole, oh, we ain't got shit to do with that. Yeah, yes, you do, because you reap the benefits for it. And I want to talk, I want to challenge all of my Caucasian uh, viewers and listeners and all our followers, you know, y'all got to start saying something. This is, this is similar to like Kaepernick when he took a knee. They said, yo, you know what? If you don't, if we don't have an Aaron Rodgers to take a knee, if we don't have nobody with the face, mm-hmm. y'all have more power than y'all know. And I got a lot of people that rock me because y'all know, man. Listen, you, I see need people. white allies. We're That's all the humans. We're we all the human allies. race. So if y'all don't see our fight, right, I, I think uh, it was Dr. King who said, uh, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Mm-hmm. So if you stand by... And you just want to protect your own while you see somebody getting stone lynched and you know that's wrong. You you just as victim. You might you ain't throw a stone, but you as gu- guilty as that person who did throw. You ain't tied a noose while we were getting hanged, but you as guilty as that person who doing that. So y'all gotta start coming to the forefront because y'all got power doing that. We have power as well, so we on the front lines doing it. So I'm, I'm gonna say that too. I'm gonna challenge people who know that. And want to rock about that. See, they didn't know that. They thought we was just comedy and entertainment. We come with that hitting out with that. How who? How who? Can we get, can we get some do? fists up? Fist up, fist up, fist up. They already know. Check it out. Take our power Scheme back. podcast. Listen, I want to know. Um, can I make a comment? Real oh, real? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Get in sorry. Here. When you talk about things that we can do, some very mm-hmm. real things that we can do are one, voting for your state and local legislatures. We always think about voting in terms of the president, but that's just like one thing. We vote on people at the state and city and county level that you actually have power with. These are the judges, the people who are sending our children to jail or sending our men to jail. You are voting them in or not Not voting and allowing them to get into office, number one. Number two, stop trying to get out of jury duty. There are so many situations where it ends up being a jury that is not a peers. If you have people who are getting sentenced to jail, there are juries who are looking at it. And if you, uh, a woke, conscious African-American person, are trying to get out of it consistently, I know it's inconvenient. But these juries are sentencing our people to jail. And if we don't continue to be a part of it, then we can't begin to help. Like there are ways for us to get involved in the system. And I know the system is janky and I know it's messed up and I know it's flawed, but if you just choose to disengage from it, it's not helping us. So big. Go ahead. We're going to have, we're going to have a whole, we're going to have a whole show on that because I want to talk about that perspective, but thank you for saying that real, because there are a lot of different, caveats to that but yeah that's a whole different that's a mm-hmm. whole show right there go ahead go ahead tiff um so i think that we need to continue to get involved in our communities and i think that we need to become more involved in our governments not only by voting but also becoming members of congress mm-hmm. mem- members of you know the committee oh yeah you know i wanted and, for president uh, go for it yo go for it. 
Twenty twenty. Man, listen. Twenty twenty. Man, man, first, who, do I can I count on your vote? Listen, I am. I want to announce right only here that I am not. Me, only if you make I am the vice not, president or chief of staff. You might count on these baby. You are yeah. Listen, I am not running for president. Listen to this. You can run for. What? You can't run for president if you say hashtag retweet. <laughs> Listen. Okay. Why not? But you got you could grab him by the pussy and be in the White House. I'm, I'm running on a retweet. I'm running on a retweet. That's the president job. Me. I'm gonna support you. Me in 2020. I'm gonna support you. You just can't be That's the president job. You can't say no. No. You can't make that part of your campaign. We're my VP. Stop it. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. You can grab him by the pussy. Let me tell you. I will be VP and I'll keep him from retweeting. Let's see what keep me from retweeting. Yeah. But let me say this retweet real quick. I, I do want to say that, Tiff, because you said something for real, for real. Main and Rhea 2020. Main and Rhea 2020. Yep, yep, I got you. Let's check it out. We we um we have to get involved in our organization. I do, I do want to say this. We're going to end up in a positive note because y'all know we about positivity. I see that green. We go. I went to the um Juneteenth. Shout out to Juneteenth. The real celebration. I went to the joint this weekend, this past weekend. Yep, Southeast D.C., Oh my goodness! I was so impressed, man. I was just like, our people out there nice doing gathering. their thing, gathering. We was out there, people. Nice Why are we gonna talk about it? I'm passing to you right now. But yo, it's like arts, music, food, fest. Like, listen, we gotta start going and supporting these things. Let's blow these up because this is us, y'all. Like, this is the real celebration. Did you have a good time up there? I had a it? good time. Come you know, on, man, it was, it was it. a good, good togetherness, the African Afrocentric uh, activities. And there were a couple of white people who were mingling and having a good time along with us. So it, it we know what y'all right. So look, I, I'm gonna tell y'all this, and, and, and for us, we grew up in, again Buffalo, New York. I know what it is, but that was one of the last stops on the Underground Railroad. So Juneteenth for us, man, we they shut down four, five, six blocks. It's a parade. It's actually one of the largest. Look it up. One of the largest Juneteenth festivals in the nation. Because mm-hmm. again, like that's real for us. So. You know, we went out there and like we seen like the vendors, you know, the merchants, and you got art, and you got food, and you got music, you got festivals, you got. We got to start making those being more, you know, magnified, if you will, um, than 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 other festivals. And I'm gonna just leave it at that. But you know, this is a summer set off. Y'all got so many things to do. You got travel tips. You know, you got. We covered the whole gamut of things today. You got things you could do to be safe in the DR. You got NBA we trades. Got you got, funny, you got, got politics. You got, you got news. retweet the retweet. Oh, we got to retweet the retweet. You know, Hashtag you got Rhea on vacation. Rhea gonna show you how she get is snatched. I'm not gonna show you everything. I'm not gonna show. I'm gonna be in Vegas. But we this this how we know. Wait, wait, real quick. This how we know y'all listen to the Scheme podcast because two weeks. Weeks ago, uh huh. Rhea asked to get flowed out, and now she on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shout out, check this out, these, check this out, these. Flow yes, out. 